Hey, are you facing issues related to Google Merchant Center related to suspension of your Google Merchant Center account or product disapproval? There are two ways through which you can solve these issues. Number one, that you can take services from some expert who have past experience of getting such suspension removed. Number two is you can learn it on your own and get equipped with a skill and get these things resolved for yourself as well as you can utilize this learning, this skill to provide such services to others as well. So guys, I am doing a live online workshop where I will teach you how to create a Google Merchant Center account, how to optimize it according to Google policies, how to optimize your online store for Google policies because most of the time your suspension occurs because of your online store because it's not according to Google policies. So I'll teach you each and everything in this workshop. This will be our two days full-fledged live workshop where you will learn all these things from beginning that is starting to create Google Merchant Center account, best way to create feeds, optimize your Google Merchant Center account and your online store. And not only that, I will teach you how to remove suspension and product disapproval also. So guys, in today's video also, I'll be sharing few things with few live case studies of suspended Google Merchant Center accounts. The reason uh, for the misrepresentation that I'll be sharing and the reasons behind that because whatever is being displayed by Google is not actually what it is. There are multiple reasons behind it and you have to figure it out what those reasons are. So guys, this is not all in this workshop. If you join, you will get an assured gift of INR rupees 1000 and that you can transfer to someone else as well. So what are you waiting for? Click the link below and join this workshop now. So guys, we'll be discussing more in this video related to issues of suspension and product disapproval. So let's begin. So guys, as you can see on my screen, this is a Google Merchant Center account and it's showing it's disapproved. As you can see on this shopping ads tab, it's uh, disapproved for enhanced listing that is running shopping ads. And as you can see, it's showing fix one issue that caused your products to stop showing. So when we go to account issues, I will see what the issues are. And as you can see, it's showing suspended misrepresentation. And the violation is that the contact methods on the online store, business address, phone number, email, contact, social media links are not there. But guys, it's not so. In this particular online store, everything is in place. And the reasons behind it, what we could discover are basically that this store was having a, another Google Merchant Center account earlier but where the same URL was there and the same address was also mentioned which this particular store owner uh, forgot to remove and due to which this suspension occurred. And guys, uh, there can be multiple reasons as well like in few cases we have seen this has happened because uh, the there was some old address on their online store and the uh, caching of that particular information is being done on that server or that particular online store platform. And when Google's bots are actually uh, going to that particular URL to verify uh, the details, they get that old information and due to which such misrepresentation occurs. So there can be many more reasons behind this particular uh, suspension statement. So let's see one more issue. So guys, as you can see, this is another account and you can see there are two issues it's showing and it's also disapproved for free listing as well, apart from an as listing that is used for running shopping ads. And when we go to account issues, we'll see what these two issues are. The very first issue is the same that we have discussed in the last uh, uh, Google Merchant Center account but the another issue is different and it shows counterfeit products. So guys counterfeit products means those products which are branded 
and you have placed on your website for selling but you don't have a gtin of that or you have missed to uh, add gtin of that sometimes it happens that you have not even mentioned the brand name but your uh, product images your description are showing that brand name to google so guys it happens sometimes that people what they do they actually remove that brand name from the description from the product name everywhere but they forget that they have that brand's products image so that actually can also cause this counterfeit product issue so you can sell only generic products if you don't have a gtin with you if you want to sell branded products you need to have gtin i even created another video in which i have shown what are the reasons what are uh, the products which you can sell and which you cannot sell in my a uh, google merchant center playlist where i have lot of other videos where i have shown different different ways how you can actually handle your google merchant center account and guys this is not all there i'll be sharing more than this in my workshop so if you are interested in learning this particular skill uh, might be to provide services to another uh, people or for your own sake you can join this workshop which will be a very amazing one so guys now let's discuss one more case study in which i'll show you product disapproval this was all about account suspension so guys in this case this is an apparel store as you can see this is a website of that apparel store and it's uh, pretty good now let's move to this uh, store's google merchant center account and as you can see 36460 products were disapproved and this we got approved guys and as you can scroll down you can see there are lot of issues it's showing up for product disapproval now we'll change the date and i'll show you on a later date when we got this particular accounts product approval done so when i select a different date range uh, later date range you can see that from red it converts to green and 38174 products approved 77 products still disapproved and the reasons are definitely uh, below you can see in the item issues when you scroll down uh, the reason for the disapproved items and guys uh, one thing i must tell you that if these disapproved items continue to be on your store then definitely your account can also get suspended so either you remove these products which you are not able to get approved because you are not able to Uh, so all the reason of their disapproval or it's better that you rectify this products asap otherwise your account can get suspended due to such disapproved products as well so guys i have told you few things and definitely these things will be helpful for you and if you want to learn more you can join the workshop and definitely get benefit from it So guys this was all in today's video I hope uh, the reasons of suspension and product disapproval which I have told you you will work on that and you will get benefit out of it and if you are willing to learn more then you can join the workshop the link is below in the description and don't forget that you will get a assured gift which is transferable to anyone if you join the workshop and that gift is much more uh, costing than the workshop cost So let's meet in the workshop